What up YouTube, my name is YoFizzy and today I'm going to be showing you how to add custom fillet caps to your text in Cinema 4D. Now if you already know how to do this then I'm sorry for uh, if you have to watch this but if you don't then hopefully I can help you out a bit. Now basically before I get started all fillet caps um, all, all it really does is it kind of adds a little bit of effect to the uh, text in Cinema 4D. It makes it look a bit it makes it look a bit cooler and it also allows you to add multiple colors to your text. Um so yeah, let's get started. So after you open up Cinema 4D, you want to obviously go to Mo Graph and you want to go to Mo Text. Now, for now, I'm just going to write um example, but if you guys are going to try to make a YouTube background, you know you can type whatever you want, of course. All right, I'm just going to write example and for the depth I'm gonna put about 40 because that's a pretty good size, in my opinion. And for the font, it doesn't really matter. Come on, computer. It's probably going really slow right now because I'm recording. All right, but for the uh, font, you know, it doesn't matter. I'm just gonna use this for now. All right. Now, once you got your text here. Um, alright, once you got your text, say if you want to add a color to it, you can. Like, if you want to add multiple colors. So, for now, I'm going to add a, uh, I'm going to add a red. So, I'm going to double click down here. And I'm going to find a nice red I want, nice shade of red. And then I'm just going to simply drag it on to the example. Alright, now here's when the, uh, here's where the, uh, fill cap part comes in. Alright, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to, click on this text I'm gonna control C for copy then I'm gonna click down here somewhere in the gray and click control V now you have two layers of text and now basically what you want to do is while mode text one is highlighted which is your copy you want to go over from object to the right you want to go to caps you want to change the cap to fill cap and you want to change the second cap to fill cap as well now you can you can experiment with some sizes but I recommend that size that I use is four so you want to change all these to four, except this bottom, right where it says convex. You don't really want to mess with any of that. But as you can see, the text is starting to look pretty cool already, and I didn't even really add any colors yet. Uh, don't know what that is. All right. Now what you want to do is, if you want to, this is for adding multiple colors. If not, then you don't have to do this. But I like to add multiple colors, so I'm gonna click here at the red. So I'm gonna go up to Mo Text One and click on the red and delete that. And then it's going to appear white, but really it's not. Now I'm just going to add a new color. Uh, how about we do blue? Let's try that. So I'm going to find my shade of blue. I'm going to click OK. And I'm just going to drag it in. But be sure while you're dragging it in, it's uh, Mo Text 1. It, like it's like you're dragging it from Mo Text 1. If, if you see a blue and a red on Mo Text without the 1, then you've messed up. It has to be the the second color you've dragged on has to be in Mel Text one. All right, right now it appears blue. It appears blue, but really the red's just hiding behind it. So what I want to do is I'm gonna click Mel Text one, and I'm gonna take the blue out right here and just drag it out a bit. And now see now the red is revealed, which is actually gives it a cool effect. You'll see what I mean when I'm done. So I'm gonna drag it out just a little bit, and to add some co more effect, I'm gonna drag it up just a tiny bit like that. Now, as you can see, the text it looks pretty. It looks pretty cool right now. Um, you know, it looks pretty decent. And if you can see what I've done here, if you see the uh, the outer layers in the blue, like the outer layers that are coating the red, that's basically the fill cap. So that's really all that fill cap does. And um, of course, to render it, all you gotta do is go to a uh, your your rendering settings. Now if you run a render it as a picture like or like a PNG file for Photoshop, what you want to do is you want to go to output. You want to click this preset here. See where the default preset is 320 by 240? You want to click the little arrow pointing to the right and you want to go to film slash video and you want to go down to HDTV 1080 25. Alright, so now once you clicked on that, you're basically good in this section. Now you want to head over to save and of course you want to locate the position where you want to save it or the folder. For now I'm just going to save it to the desktop and I'm going to type it as example because this is just an example. Alright, I'm going to click save 
and now I'm gonna also be sure to check off Alpha Channel. Alpha Channel all it really does is it just adds more graphics to it, and it makes it look a lot better when you're done. All right, now you're basically done here, and you click exit. And of course, as always, just click the middle rendering button, and this will render out your text and make it look super sexy. Alrighty, once you're done, you can just exit out of that, minimize this if you want, and as you can see, here is my text in 1080p. Um, it looks very nice in my opinion. So yeah, there it is. And now I'm not, I really don't want to explain how to get it into Photoshop. If you need help with that, just request another tutorial. Um, hopefully this is fairly easy for you guys. If you have any comments or uh, questions, just leave them down in the comment section and I'll be sure to answer those. Um, as always, please subscribe and no hate if you already knew how to do this. I'm just showing the beginners out there how to make their text look pretty cool in uh, Cinema 4D. Alright guys, thanks for watching. I appreciate it and stay tuned and subscribe. Peace.